guys today is august 15th um 2019 it's about 5 35 right now i have a little time so i decided to make a little video because i'm sitting outside of my daughter's um cheerleading practice uh, i just dropped her off it's raining so my hair got wet and so that sucks so um but um no i'm gonna just get straight to it i want to say thank you to those of you who um have left comments <sighs> sending your condolences your prayers your words of comfort i really do appreciate it and it's crazy because i don't know any of you personally like, I don't know any of you personally. You don't know me. You don't know my family. You just know what you saw in the videos. Um, but it touched a lot of you in a way that you, you touched me. Like, I was sitting reading the comments crying. Um, the pain has not stopped. You know, my eyes, they're still red. Um, but I know I have to um, keep going. I know things will get better. These are things I hear. Everyone has been telling me in the comments, my family and friends. I just have to believe that, you know. Um, and I do. I do. It's just, it's hard. It's hard. Um, but I am doing better. I am doing better. Um, I got a phone call today from the hospital. Um, I don't know if you all remember, but I, I mentioned that there's um, a group, um, and they, you know, create like these memorial um, boxes for stillborns, for moms to take home. <laughs> You know, they take pictures and everything is free. They, they Everything is free of charge. They don't ask for a dime, not even a donation. And um, they called me today to say that the pictures were ready. So I went to go pick them up. Came in this slip here. Um, it's not actual. Um, it's a jump drive. So we're able to print them out. Um, wherever we want, how many we need. Um, I haven't seen the pictures yet. Um, I was going to wait until, um, you know, my husband and I can set, a, set aside some time and watch the, look at the pictures together. Definitely gonna cry for sure when I see those pictures. Um, because they dressed him up in this white outfit, like a baptism outfit with the white hat. And, you know, she took pictures of my son by himself. Then she took pictures with my husband, my daughter, and myself. Um, so that's gonna be emotional. It, it's gonna be emotional, but um, it's just another step. You know, I have to take, but, um, there was a letter that came in, uh, let me turn this radio down. I feel like you can still hear it. There was a letter that came in the envelope. Um, it says, um, until recently parents suffering the, from the loss of a newborn did not receive the support and understanding that is now becoming part of bereavement counseling. More hospitals like yours are developing counseling services to handle these very special cases. We are pleased to be able to participate in this service by providing parents with their infant's photograph, the one keepsake they will, tr they will treasure forever. This is a free service and available to all parents suffering from the unfortunate circumstance of a fetal demise. The enclosed complimentary bereavement photo package was special ordered by your hospital as part of our infant bereavement assistance program using an infant bereavement photo request and authorization form. The parent's signature is required on the form before photos may be released. 
please present the photo to the parents in conjunction with your own bereavement counseling service. Thank you for allowing us to participate in your bereavement counseling efforts. If we can be of further assistance, do not hesitate to call your field support representative. Um, okay, so that explains why we were able to get the, um, the photographs for free. Um, it's a program, I guess, that's partnered with the hospital. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I gave birth at Candler Hospital here in Savannah. Yeah, St. Joseph's Candler Hospital here in Savannah. Um, but that's that's really cool. So that explains, you know, like I say, why we're able to get the um, photographs for free. Um, so I appreciate that. And then this came in it this is the envelope oh hold on yeah oh this is nice it is a jump drive it is a jump drive so oh, come with a remembering a very special life that's beautiful it count Okay, it comes with two poems. Oh, father, my father. Oh, mother, my mother. Two different. I'm not going to read both of them. Oh, mother, my mother. Oh, mother, my mother. I touch your tears. Invisible fingers. Soothing your skin. I know you think of me so often in the day, in the night, in your dreams, going into an empty nursery. Knowing I'll... Going into an empty nursery, knowing I'll never be there, but I am in your heart, in your soul. I shall always be for you, gave so unselfishly of yourself. Inside of you, you created such a world for me, a world of laughter, of love, of sadness, of sorrow. Every emotion people come to know, you share it with me. And even though I may never feel your arms around me, I feel your heart beating like a lullaby, singing me to sleep, and your spirit giving me a safe haven, already protecting me, nurturing me, preparing me of things to come. But sometimes the journey of life pulls souls apart. And yes, I had to go on to another place. I wish I could stay. I wish this was a decision I could make. And I know you do too. Know this. Know this. Wherever you are, I will always remember that yours was the first love, the first joy, the first soul I will ever know. You gave me the courage to go on in my journey. I hope I can do the same for you. Your heartbeat will always call to me. Love your child. <sighs> that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I am framing this for sure and putting this in his nursery. Oh my goodness. I'm going to let my husband read. I haven't read. Oh God. I haven't read my husband's. I got no tissue. Um. Oh Lord. I don't want to bite my nose on camera. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Ugh. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh. That was beautiful. Um, I'm going to let my husband read his first. But this is the jump drive that our son pictures are on. So, um, yeah. This is, this is beautiful. I can't wait to see the pictures. I'm going to have them printed out. Um, and put like a... I don't know if I'm going to like... I don't even remember how many pictures she took to be honest so I don't know I might end up buying one of those um big photo frames where you can do like a collage like it have a little compartment for each picture I might end up doing one of those um I have to look at all the pictures first I have to look at all of them first 
and see how I want to do it. Do I want to do because I have a photo album. I don't know if I want to put his pictures in the photo album or if I want to do his separate from everyone's. Um, that's I have to see the photos first and then it'll it'll come to me. Um, what else? Um, he all right. We were faced with the decision to either bury our son or cremate him. Apparently, when you're past 20 weeks, the hospital don't handle those stuff. So as parents, we have to handle it ourselves. I was not aware of this. I've never been through this before. So I'm in the hospital and you know, the hospital staff is telling me this. So before, I'm at the time I was still pregnant, laying in the hospital, you know, waiting because they induced my pregnancy or whatever. And we were, my husband and I were calling funeral homes to make arrangements for our son. So that was hard as hell. You know, um, he wasn't even here yet. And already we were making arrangements with a funeral home for him. So, um... A few of them charged like a couple of thousand dollars. Then you had some that will charge a few hundred. We came across two funeral homes here in Savannah that um, offered to do the services free of charge given the situation, which was a blessing because looking at some of the prices, you know, a couple of thousand dollars and stuff, you know, my husband and I have money saved. We just didn't intend to use it. For the death of one of our children you know if push come to shove then obviously we would it just wasn't intended for that purpose you know um and then we called our life insurance company um to see if maybe if we can pull from one of our policies because we all have whole life we don't have a term we have whole life or to see if there was like a writer or something or just anything that we can do and they said no and then the baby would have had to live at least 15 days um for us to even have a policy on him but like i said there were two funeral homes that offered to do the services free of charge and which was beautiful you guys it was beautiful um such a blessing and such a relief financially um we decided to go with the funeral home sylvania funeral home um who actually handled my brother-in-law's body when he was murdered a few years ago my husband's brother his little brother and they did a good job with him you know the family was happy with the way everything turned out so we decided to allow them to handle you know everything with our son they came to pick him up from the hospital and everything then they asked us if we want a burial or to cremate him the traditional part of me wanted to do a burial but the mom part of me just want my baby with me at all times i want him home where he was supposed to be so i wanted to cremate him my husband just said whatever it is i want to do you know he's fine with it which i appreciate you know he never once forced me to make a decision or put pressure on me it just whatever i wanted he was there to make it happen um so i decided i opt for a cremation you know if the last couple of years since savannah here in savannah we've been getting like hurricanes and we have we i'm just talking so fast we have to we would have to evacuate so if we ever have to leave again i want my son in a car with us if we ever decide to move from savannah whether it's 10 days from now or 10 years from now i want my baby with me so that was my reasons for cremation um the funeral home called and said that uh he has been cremated um they'll hold his ashes for us because i special ordered an urn that i absolutely love we already had bought one but um i wasn't in love with it you know and that'll be the final resting place of my son's body so it has to be something beautiful you know um so i special ordered one 
and it cost a few dollars but it was well worth it i love it my husband don't even know what it looked like yet so i'm gonna surprise him when it come in um the the company actually emailed me today or yesterday and said that um the engraving and everything on it has been done um, they shipped it out. It's priority mail and they put insurance on it just in case it get damaged before um, we receive it, which I appreciated that so much. Um, so they, I should get it by Saturday. Today is Thursday. So I should get it by Saturday. So I have to email them back and tell them thank you for doing that um, instead of doing standard shipping because I didn't pay for expedited shipping. That's something, you know, um, they did for me. So I appreciate that um what else uh i had a doctor's appointment monday um i was hoping that my doctor would have released me so i can go back to work but she did not she denied it she said she don't think that i'm ready emotionally and then um physically my blood pressure was high my heart rate was fast um i told her in my defense you know how when you go to the doctor, the first thing you do is check your vitals. When I, this was my first time back to my doctor's office since being told my son does not have a heartbeat. So walking back in there for the first time, not pregnant, was emotional, you know? Everyone there know my face, you know, um, asking me how I'm doing from the front desk <laughs> you know up to the nurses who um you know do your check your vitals and stuff um that one nurse she has been there the end every time I go every time I have an appointment she's the one there so when I walked in to the back when they called me to the back and she saw me you know she extended her condolences immediately I just busted out crying because I was already emotional just sitting in that office <laughs> Uh, you know um alone so when she started telling me she's sorry and she knew how happy i was and asking me about reagan my daughter because every time i went i pretty much had reagan with me because they're just going back to school uh last week so all my uh visits like during the summer she was she was with me for the most part um she was with me we went and got her from school early june 5th when we found out we were having a boy I remember that day. I was so excited. Um, so they even know her. They asked them. Everybody was asking about her from the people at the front desk. They're like, where's the little girl? Like, she's in school. You know, um, so I was telling my doctor when she did my vitals, when she checked my blood pressure, my heart rate, I was already emotional because I started crying, talking to her, you know, and it was like 150 something over like 90, 98. It was really high. And she was like, okay, you're emotional, calm down. So she did like some breathing techniques with me, um, gave it a few minutes, and then she took my blood pressure again and it did drop, but it was still kind of high. It was like 140 over 92 at this time. So, I was telling my doctor, if you're going off of that reading and not my medical history, that's not fair because I was emotional when she took my blood pressure. So, um, but she was just like, um, well, she gave me a prescription for some medicine, not necessarily for my blood pressure per se, more so she said what it does is it, uh, it slows my heart rate down and it allows my valve or something to fill with blood before releasing. So it's, you know, whatever, something like that, I don't know. But um, she told me, uh, take two more weeks off. I told I cannot take two more weeks off. I've already been out, for work, out of work for three weeks. And I, I just need to get out of the house. You know, I, I just, it's but so much around the house I can do. It's but so much laundry and cleaning and cooking, you know, that I can do. I just need to get out of the house. It's, I just need that distraction. So she told me, um, take, to ma take the medicine um you know just kind of relax for this next week and she squeezed me in for monday coming up and then she had she's going to have me come back to her office and reevaluate me and if she feel comfortable doing so then and only then will she release me to go back uh to go back to work everyone keeps telling me to just take these six weeks because that's what she gave me she gave me six weeks she faxed all the paperwork over to hr my field supervisor you know um is aware of everything that's going on and you know everybody think i'm coming back in six weeks but 
if if I had my son with me, I would have taken the six weeks. Hell, I would have taken longer than six weeks. I was out for a few months when my daughter was born. Um, but given my situation, I don't feel I need to take the full six weeks. You know, um, it's going to be emotional regardless if I'm at work or sitting at home. Like six weeks isn't going to make this go away. You know what I mean? It's not. Um, I didn't realize I would still be as emotional. You know, um, like going to pick up the pictures today, I had to go back to the labor and delivery floor. And walking on that floor again just brought back so many memories. Mm, so many memories. Um, seeing women being pushed around with their newborns and hearing babies crying. This one lady was uh, giving birth. So she's in a cussing up a storm. You know, it just... It triggers me. So, I was opposed to it. But I am going to take grief counseling. And see if it helps. If I'm not feeling it after the first session, then I, I'm not forced to go. It's not mandatory. But I am going to try it. Because now that I see every little thing, it's just triggering it. Especially when people ask me, how am I doing? Because my first reaction is to tell them exactly how I'm doing. But out of habit, I just say, I'm fine. I'm good. You know? Because um, that's typically what you say when someone asks you, how are you doing? You say, I'm fine. I'm doing well. And that that question alone tends to trigger me. Like when people call me, like I'm just checking to see how you're doing. Like how do you think I'm doing? You know? And I'm not trying to be rude. It's just I don't know. So I am going to try counseling, but um, hopefully <sighs> when I go back Monday, my blood pressure is where it needs to be. My heart rate has slowed down. It's not just overly pumping or whatever. Um, and my doctor released me to go back to work. Um, yeah. Um, but aside from that, just good news. Uh, well, not good news, but I just want to extend a thank you to those of you in the comments who don't know me from a can of paint with your words of comfort. I sit and I read every comment and I reply or, you know, just saying thank you. I appreciate it because I do. Like, I seriously do.